On this day, January 10th, 1987, bitter cold moved into the state. It was negative 26 degrees in Eagle Nest, negative 18 in Lake Maloya, negative 11 in Red River, and negative 5 in Gallup. We're not going to be that cold tonight, but we do have some colder air moving in that we are tracking. Time now for the five facts. We start with number five here. An Albuquerque food truck getting national recognition. Yelp recently released its top 10 places to eat in 2020. It came in at 56 was Dia de los Tacos. It opened last year. It's garnered nearly 100 reviews with five star rating average on the review website. It's also the only New Mexico eatery to be named on the list. At number four, here's something new for New Mexico. A Japanese artist is bringing her work to the Duke City, hoping to inspire others to reuse and recycle. Sayaka Ganz's three dimensional work is made up of common items, usually just thrown out like forks, spatulas, and even traffic cone flashers. Gans hopes that her work will inspire others to think twice about throwing out items in the trash. The exhibit opens tonight and it's open through, up through May 17th. And at number three, I'm tracking messy weather moving across the state. Snow, mix, and rain all pushing east as we head through the afternoon. And number two is New Mexico deals with a high number of flu cases. A New Mexico toddler has now died from pediatric influenza for the first time this season. State health officials report that the boy is from Roosevelt County and he died from the illness. The department now says that 52 people have died statewide from pneumonia and the flu since October. They also say flu hospitalizations for children four and under are more than double the national average. The department is encouraging parents to vaccinate children over six months of age as soon as possible. On to number one. Now this morning, the search continues for a missing three-year-old boy as we learn new details about the way his mother was murdered. Family members found Isiela Sanchez's body in her home on Tuesday. Also, police say her eight-year-old daughter thought that she was sleeping because she would not wake up. However, investigators now say the mother had been strangled. Police say her boyfriend, Jorge Rico Rubira, took more than $1,000 out of the bank after the murder. This morning, there's an arrest warrant out for him for the murder. There's also an Amber Alert still out for their three-year-old son.